Hello everyone, a uh, few of you expressed interest in uh, seeing a few of the computers in my collection. So here is a video on one of my IBM 5150s and what we're mainly going to focus on is on the right side of the video which is the iOmega Bernoulli box A220H. Now this box is actually a form of removable storage through huge cartridges and they hope this particular model takes 20 megabyte cartridges there's also a 10 megabyte giant box like this and then they got smaller so this 5150 has 640 kilobytes of RAM it's pretty much maxed out for this motherboard uh, 360 kilobyte floppy drive uh, 20 megabyte hard drive and the original 5151 monitor which is green monochrome so we'll go ahead and check out the box first and see what what happens. Alright, here's a closer view of the box itself. So you can see it's got the iOmega Bernoulli label here. 20 plus 20 as it's two ports for two separate 20 megabyte cartridges. And uh, I picked this up off of eBay for about 15 bucks, surprisingly cheap. And I originally thought it was a 8 inch floppy disk drive because what else could it be? I had never heard of the Bernoulli box before. But uh my tech vintage tech guru friend William Jones pointed out to me that no Dan you're dumb this is a Bernoulli box and sent me a bunch of links to everything about it and it's pretty fascinating pretty uh, actually very expensive removable storage for back in the day cartridges would be a couple hundred bucks uh, this particular model is several thousand dollars I think upwards of four thousand dollars so yeah pretty pricey so mainly meant for businesses for a reliable backup and it's actually very reliable as it operates on Bernoulli's principle and uses a current of air to bend the uh, disk material towards a reading head however they're never actually in contact so if any sudden loss of power or anything like that occurs there is almost zero risk of the head crashing into the disk and causing corruption so pretty interesting and as you probably know, iOmega later came out with the zip disk, which is a highly upgraded version of the Bernoulli box. So we'll go ahead and power it up. All right, so here we go. We're going to fire this thing up. Just to give you a little demonstration, here is the cartridge. I can't even fit it on the video screen. I mean, if I turn it sideways, it is about a little bigger than a sheet of paper, standard letter size paper. Got the iOmega logo on there, so... Let's go ahead and fire up the box. So it pressures up and uh, starts the airflow to maintain a positive pressure inside the uh, box, which prevents dust. So we will go ahead and slide the cartridge in, and then we will start up the 5150 and we will write a few files to it. Not terribly interesting, but pretty cool piece of old hardware. So here's a cartridge out of the sheath. Go ahead and slide this in. It's a little squeaky. Sorry in advance. Sorry about that. So it's in, and then you lock it into place. And the drive spins up the cartridge, and should come online, and there you go. So now you're ready to boot. So we will go ahead and do that, and write a few files to it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start up the 5150. Got this huge power switch on the side. Hello YouTube. So now we got this loud box going, and the loud Seagate ST225 hard drive going. So, and then you got the keyboard too which is in a league of its own for noise, so yeah, probably wouldn't want an IBM 5150 in a very quiet environment. Not sure if you can hear the Bernoulli box in the background, checking out the cartridge. takes a while to boot up the 5150 as it checks all 640k. There we go. 
completed the power on cell test and now we can make sure you can read this turn down brightness let me try turning off the light okay hopefully that's readable pick up the keyboard here Do a directory listing. Gotta make sure you can still read this. Alright. Now, it assigned D, the drive D, for the box. So, we go ahead and list access to the cartridge. So, we got CP backup 001 in file directory listing. I don't know what these files are. Came on the cartridge, I guess. So, go back to hard drive. We can use MS DOS 3.3's horrible text editor, Edline. Edit line. So, uh, Edline D colon slash. Um, YouTube.txt So to use Edline, if you want to insert a line, you type I and now you can start typing line 1 Hello YouTube I'm typing on a 5150 Hooray! exclamation point exclamation point and now we're done so we have to type control C and then E to save the file and that exits out of headline so now we should have the file on the drive on the cartridge yep there it is so if we go back to headline we should still be able to read everything we just wrote into that file like I said, this isn't a particularly interesting video, but it's a chance to show off some old technology. So L to list it. There you go. Oh, I guess it cut off the last line. Yeah, I didn't I didn't press enter to type in the last line, so it cut it off. Which is one of the very, very many reasons that Ed line is horrible. So we can get back out of there, so yeah, that is the iOmega Bernoulli box, and a little demonstration of the IBM 5150, so yeah, thanks for watching.